hey there guys and welcome back. On this week's show, we're going to be making some adjustable trivets. Now in order to make this project, you're going to need to choose your stock and I would suggest to make it out of a hardwood. I wouldn't go with any kind of a softwood as I don't think it could take the abuse. So a hardwood like maple, walnut, that sort of thing, mahogany, something that has a little more strength to it. And you're going to want to mill down some stock that's going to be 3 16 of an inch thick. And now that you have it milled down to your 3 16 of an inch, you want to rip it into half inch strips. So the first thing that you want to do now that you have all of your strips ripped to their half inch width is you want to cut the length of the pieces. So first off, put a cross cut blade in your table saw and square off one end of your stock. It's now time to cut them to length and for each trivet that you want to make, you want six pieces that are nine inches long and you're going to need four pieces that are six and a half inches long. Well now that we have our stock cut to length, it's time to consider the method of attachment, how we're going to hold this all together. And for me, I've decided on these, which is brass rivets. Now, you can get these at most woodworker supply. They're popular for knife making to attach the handles. I got these at Lee, at Lee Valley. I'll post the link below just so that you guys have access to that information. But what we need to do is we need to drill some holes in our stock that will allow these rivets to pass through. And for that, we're going to need uh, holes that are 5 32nd of an inch in diameter. And on our nine inch pieces, we're going to drill one hole in the dead center, so four and a half inches in from either end. And as well, we need a through hole one and a half inches in from each end. I would strongly suggest that you use a fence on your drill press table for this operation only to get consistency. So check, double check, triple check to make sure that you have your fence set so that it drills dead center of your half inch piece. And for repetitive drilling, I have a stop block. This way, by using the fence to drill to get our center on our half inch piece, we know that every piece is identical. So just remember, it also duplicates your mistakes. We now need to drill a flat bottomed hole or countersink for the head of each one of our rivets. While we have our stops and our fence already set up, now is the time to do it for these center holes. So I've got a quarter inch Forstner bit in here, same diameter as the head of our rivet. I've got the depth stop set so that we're just going to place a little bit of a countersink that isn't much. And that's it. And that should set our countersink of our rivet just right. So countersink all six pieces on one side and that will be the outside of your trivet or your working side. So choose one side and drill your countersink in each one of your pieces. Now for your shorter six and a half inch pieces, 
you're going to want to measure from one end and put a 532nd inch through hole centered at one and a half inches in and then four and a half inches in. So now just give each one of your pieces a light sanding and once you get that done we can get into the assembly. Well it's now time for the assembly and the most important thing to remember here when assembling the trivet is to keep your countersinks on the right side of your stock. So for starters you can see here that I have a short piece lined up here, one of the six and a half inch pieces. I have another one here and they, were, they are sandwiching three of the nine inch pieces here. More importantly, what you want to notice is that the holes are all lined up together. In other words, that four and a half inches that you measure down to drill that hole in your shorter piece, you don't want to have it reversed and have it so that they no longer line up. So make sure that you've got your pieces lined up the way that they're supposed to go and this would be the configuration you're looking for. You now want to take one of your nine inch pieces and you want to rivet the piece to one of your shorter pieces. Just make sure that you're putting your countersink on the right side. So we're gonna place the female end into our shorter piece and making sure that they line up, the ends line up, we're just going to set a rivet in that end hole on our trivet. Now, I'm using an old piece of angle iron. You could use a vise to do this and just use a little tack hammer. There you go. And that is that piece secured. So now the way it's going to work is now this middle hole connects to this next nine inch piece and then this top hole connects to the next nine inch piece. Do you see how that works? So let's rivet those and then we can add another piece into our mix. Once again though make sure that you're your countersinks are on the right side, guys. And then you can see where our next piece is going to get riveted right here. And then we'll get another piece here. And you see how this is going together? So let's continue with this build until we get all of our rivets in place. And now that we have all of our nine inch pieces connected, we can see how it closes up and connects and joins. We now need to finish it off with our shorter pieces. And again, you just wanna make sure that you've got the right holes in the right position. So we'll finish off this side with one of the shorter pieces. And then we're gonna cap that off with one more short piece. Again, making sure that you have the right holes lined up. That inch and a half hole here is lined up on the end that it should be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cap this end with one of our six and a half inch pieces. And then once I get that finished, the last six and a half inch piece will cap this end over here.
And with all of our rivets in, we can see how well that operates and how smooth it is. I really like the way those rivets work. So the last thing that you can do is I would give this a good surface sanding and that will level out any imperfections and it will also go to polish these brass heads just a little bit. And other than a, a coating of mineral wax and, or sorry, mineral oil and beeswax, um, I'm going to call this project done. And there you have it. An expandable or adjustable trivet. Guys, this project, once again, you guys know I'm all about using up the scrap. And this is just another example. Now this one I actually milled the stock, but how many times have you used quarter inch or more or what have you stock and have these smaller pieces that you chucked off to the side and you never really did know what to do with them until the time came to either throw it out or burn it and then suddenly you knew what to do with it. Well how about if you had one of these projects in the wings that you could make one out of your scrap and then give it to your family or friends as Christmas or birthday gifts. I mean, once again, this is awesome. I can't take all the credit for this as I did see it on another guy's channel and I want to give a shout out to him and that would be Paul's Messy Workshop. Guys, Paul has a really fun little channel and uh, I, I've watched every show he's ever put out and he's just a heck of a nice guy and does a great job on the show. He has just as much fun as I do, I'm sure. So I'm going to post a link down to his show. Uh, give him a, a, a look and, uh, you know, a like and a subscribe for him, whatever you can. He's one heck of a nice guy and uh, I have to thank him for pointing me at this project. So guys, thanks for joining me this week. I hope you're going to try this yourself. I can't tell you, this is addictive playing with this thing. But either way, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're going to join me again next week when I bring you yet another woodworking video. <laughs> This is a lot of fun. <laughs>